Hello. A process is underway to update the comprehensive plan for the McLean Community Business Center. This short video will show you the proposed classification of streets in the McLean CBC and their corresponding streetscape designs. Let me begin by walking you through the street classifications as depicted in the McLean Multimodal Network Map. There are four types of streets in the CBC, Avenue Type 1, Avenue Type 2, Local Street Type 1, and Local Street Type 2. Each street classification corresponds to a specific streetscape design and treatment. The larger, more utilized roadways are being proposed as avenues, which has uh, pedestrian and bike facilities and larger building zones. Local streets will have lower traffic volumes and slower moving traffic. However, they too include streetscapes, pedestrian, and bicycle features, as I'll describe in the next, uh, following slides here. A streetscape is made up of visual elements of a street, including the road, adjoining buildings, street furniture, trees, and open spaces that combine to form a street's character. It provides space for building zones where outdoor cafes and markets can be held, as well as amenities to serve vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists. A cross-section includes the components of a street and its dimensions. A cross-section depicts how streets should be designed in order to accommodate all the intended travel modes, including vehicles, transit, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Providing for all these travel modes will improve the uh, connectivity between neighborhoods and businesses throughout the CBC. These improvements can be achieved through either redevelopment or public uh, capital improvement projects. Old Dominion Drive connects local streets to higher speed, higher volume facilities like Dolly Madison Boulevard. It is the only street designated as a Type 1 Avenue in McLean CBC. The current proposed Avenue Type 1 streetscape cross-section is comprised of four lanes of vehicular travel lanes from Dolly Madison to Corner Lane, transitioning to two lanes at the southeastern border of the CBC. No additional travel lanes are recommended. The cross-section depicted here is a section of Old Dominion Drive that is four lanes. The streetscape calls for a pedestrian and bicycle pathway on both sides of the street, from Dolly Madison to Holmes Place, a landscape panel abutting the curb that could include trees and other landscaping, street lights and benches, and bicycle racks in a building zone. And that's a space between the pathway and the building that would allow for browsing or could be expanded to provide a place for outdoor cafes. Of all these elements, the most important feature is the pedestrian and bicycle pathway that allows for both pedestrians and bicyclists to share the entire area depending on the demand for the facility. For example, if there are more pedestrians on a certain day due to an event, they could use the bicyclist area and vice versa. This rendering of an area along Old Dominion shows how the pedestrian and bicycle pathway would accommodate all users. The landscape panel to the right and the building zone to the left shows how people can use the space to patronize businesses or just take a break while exercising or riding their bike. Additional streetscape amenities include bike, bicycle racks, benches, street lights, and perhaps red brick pavers for the pathway. After the plan amendment is adopted, the current design guidelines for the McLean will be updated to, and will have more details on streetscape elements, including pavement materials, planning types, and streetscape elements, including benches, street lights, and other streetscape amenities. Avenue Type 2 is similar to Avenue Type 1 in that it shows a four lane section. The main difference is that there is a one-way cycle track and a sidewalk on each side of the roadway, rather than a pedestrian and bicycle pathway. 
A one foot buffer is recommended to separate the cycle track from the sidewalk. West of Tennyson Ingleside, a shared use path is recommended. East of Tennyson and Ingleside, a sidewalk and a cycle track up to Dolly Madison is recommended. It provides for the same treatment of the building zone and the landscape panel as in Type 1 Avenue. Chambridge Road is the only Avenue Type 2 streetscape in the McLean CBC. The Lakewood Street Type 1 cross section from McLean CBC shares many of the same elements as the Avenue cross section, but there are some key differences. Lakewood streets are intended to carry less traffic and have lower design speeds. Thus, they will have fewer vehicular travel lanes. Also, to accommodate adjacent land uses and create a more pedestrian friendly environment, these streets will provide on street parking where feasible. The plan recommends a shared walkway on both sides of the street. There are two streets in the McLean CBC categorized as Type 1 local streets, Elm Street and Beverly Road. The local street Type 2 cross section is identical to the local street Type 1 cross section with the exception of the pedestrian and bicycle pathway. Streets designated as local street type T will have even less travel volumes than on local type 1 streets. Therefore, it is considered safe enough for bicyclists to share the travel lane rather than a separated uh, and dedicated uh, bicycle path. This local street is applicable to the more residential areas of the McLean CBC. Examples of the local street type 2 streetscape are Fleetwood Road and Ingleside Avenue. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions, please uh, direct your comments to our uh, lead planners listed on this slide. Thank you again.